Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Aquarius, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long for you. So I do hope it resonates. If it doesn't, um, check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs, or, you know, it's just not your message, and oh well, but hopefully it is. And I hope it makes your day uh, a lot better. So see beyond the current situation. Ooh. That may mean that we need to remove ourselves from, <clears throat> you know, getting too caught up in maybe immediate results or uh, immediate uh, appearances, okay? So look beyond the surface. There's more going on than meets the eye. And, you know, we do have a seer here, so there is a mystic at play, okay? So I know a lot of you have that energy about you. So just tap into your inner vision. And there may be something here where you have to take your eyes off of the surface of things because something is gestating. Something is going to birth into your life here. And look at this. We've got sage. Be devoted and committed. So there may be something here where, you know, <clears throat> maybe you have found something that is to your desire, but maybe you're questioning yourself. Maybe there's been some type of <clears throat> challenge or disappointment, but don't let that stop you, okay? Take some time and, and take notes here. You know, you've got a wise one here. You also embody a wise one, and you're having to navigate yourself through not the vision but through inner seeing inner guidance there may you know, I'm, I'm just hearing the word uh, telecommunications and i feel that's really old-fashioned but uh, i'm just seeing something about <clears throat> really quick communication so there may be something where you do have to focus you you may need to uh, really tend and nurture to your, your mind's garden here. Okay. Because I do feel that there's something strong and powerful that's incoming to you and you don't want to miss something. So, you know, write things down, even if they don't make sense now, they may later. Okay. You may need to take, yeah, take uh, notes on, you know, intuitive notes. Uh, there could be something possibly with moon, card so maybe dream state you know visions and dreams let's continue and see what else you need to know for Aquarius great sadness that will heal with time oh you got the three of swords and the three of wands perfect because hello you're actually going to be better off is what spirit is saying let go of the past see you let go of the past you're going to be better off personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings. Now, that would be a good thing. So that's definitely a possibility here, especially when we've been heartbroken by someone or some type of misunderstanding. But a lot of you, Aquarius, are also this, <clears throat> I feel, a seer, a sage, someone that can be there for those in need when the time is right okay now maybe some of you that's what you're focusing on um, and maybe it is just getting back down to the basics and you know uh, just having compassion and understanding okay a and make sure you're having that for yourself because you know what i'm seeing is this beautiful guardian angel and your energy here and there's something about you receiving and you are in this place of protection and shelter while the storm is going on on the outside there the swords are out of the heart so I feel a lot of you you're doing a really good job with overcoming some type of you know past hurt now there could be a situation where we feel something or someone is at a too far of a distance here and that's what's causing some type of great, you know, heartache here. Oh, I was going to read the three of uh, wands here, but the three of wands <coughs> is saying, <laughs> let's see beyond the surface, okay, because it's, it's all about you getting uh, your, sh you know, your, there's, your ships are coming in. Your past efforts are paying off. 
right? Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient. Your desires. Oh, wait, excuse me. What does that say? I can't see it because it keeps going in and out of focus. Be patient and decide what's next. Planning for the long term and abundance from past choices. So don't worry. Don't fret. You know, we got the three of swords turning into the three of wands. It's like you've transformed and transmuted this pain into positive energy. So good for you. Keep doing that. What else for Aquarius? <clears throat> mm. This is, there is something going on here with cycling out any type of repetitive patterns, noticing or witnessing, whether it's ourselves or within others, relationship patterns that we may uh, not agree with, you know, or we do agree with, right? Because we are evolving and changing. And now if something you've, out, you know, you felt that you've outgrown, good. You know, if you're noticing things within situations of others, you know, just be the observer, you know, don't be the judger, just be an observer and just have patience, but mm -hmm. stay focused on your own goals and what's going on with you. It takes strength to recognize the need for change and that's exactly what you've been doing. Okay, this one's coming out a little challenging, though. <laughs> okay, so we may need to get another card for that. But look what's, look what's over here. We got a spiritual connection. Well, hmm, I wonder why. I mean, we have someone here who has some type of, you know, spiritual connection yourself. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, so see beyond the current situation. I want to see a little bit more, too, about this relationship pattern. Because this one, this one's a little bit of a, kind of like a hangman situation going on here. Let's get more. What do you want Aquarius to know with this relationship patterns? Yeah, it could be something about this misunderstanding, too, for some of you, but... You're getting stronger, wiser, and that's what matters. Not going backwards and repeating things. So don't, oh my God, don't be afraid of repeating things. Oh, okay, we do have the lovers coming through. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, right? You know, you're making choices and planning for the long term. So if you don't know what to focus on or what to make choices or plan, it's your long-term goals here, okay? Um, and we do have a significant change here. We have someone coming through here where we are united. <clears throat> Look at that spiritual connection here. Uh, make choices from the heart. Vibr I think I already read that. Whoa, okay, what's behind the lovers? So focusing on the negative, and you got that new one. Yep, this is this relationship patterns here. And now we've got a new op opportunity. Um, act as if too. Start acting as if or taking some time to jot down some notes or things that are coming to you because it is, there is something about, you know, studies or a quest for some type of wisdom and... A new opportunity, too, to maybe take a little break here. I mean, you got another good another good indication about, you know, your income or resources increasing. You may have some type of good news. Um, I mean, more than likely about finances. Okay, scholar, there, I'll just, okay, whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. There's a, huh. okay, hang on, Aquarius. Here's a card that wants to come out with this page of pentacles here. <clears throat> oh, it's time to get to work or do something here. That's what it is. Because an excellent opportunity is presenting itself. Okay, has it already? Now pay attention because if you don't pay attention, you might, you know, you might miss it. Hello. <laughs> but it always, it always pre presents itself because what is yours will always be yours. What's meant for you is meant for you. Okay, 
Now, there was a card that wants to come out with that page of pentacles. Some of you, you've, you, um, you have been studying enough. You've been doing enough. So don't be afraid. Get out there and do what you're feeling called to do. Okay. Also, you got a, oh, this is, this is really good. <laughs> We're talking about the page of pentacles. There's going to be a new physical experience with you and another most likely, um, Aquarius. So a tender touch can mean so much. Um, I feel right now it's all about opening yourself up to possibilities, to taking, taking your time, uh, taking things slow, but allowing yourself to feel some kind of new pleasures in life physical pleasures. I am seeing charm, romance, love, okay? A connection that maybe, yes, we've been waiting for so long. It felt like, you know, we were turning into stone, but they came just at the right time. Good. Open yourself up and notice that there is true love because love is really sw swarming all around you because you've been doing a lot Maybe not all these people, not, not everyone knows what's going on beneath the surface of you because what's going on with you is you've been this strong uh, warrior here, but you've been having to, having to do and endure a lot of growth, a lot of healing and pain underneath. <coughs> and <coughs> you've been doing a really damn good job. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on, you know what's gone away things or don't focus on you know things didn't turn the way that you anticipated right forgiveness of yourself or others that can take some time but it can happen because everything does happen for a reason look for the hidden blessings see there's something about looking for hidden blessings look beyond the current situation <clears throat> and this person is standing there you know feeling lost you got to look beyond that. The Five of Cups is a card of sadness. It's a card of, you know, having to take time to heal. Love who you are. You are a divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things that life has to offer. See, receive with love and appreciation. A gracious acceptance is a way to show love. You're about to receive something here. So open yourself up. Start noticing <clears throat> all of these things about you that is vibrant, good, and healthy, and let that lead the way because there is something about you coming into a very powerful situation for yourself and others involved here. You know what you're doing is you're actually getting out of the way of your own self. <laughs> you're inner divine god goddess being is pu is pushing and coming to the surface is what's happening <laughs> hello world that's what i see hello world here i am receive with love and appreciation every little thing you notice every little thing that you can appreciate do it because love and joy and gratitude follow one another and abundance. Okay, what else for Aquarius? Miracles and blessings. <clears throat> Remember, the Five of Cups even speaks about look for the hitting, hit, excuse me, hidden blessings. Everything has its gift. Let's get a little bit more too with this miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift for Aquarius. I don't know why I'm hearing this song, but maybe it's like judgment or something because I'm hearing that I don't, I don't I don't even know why. Wake up little Susie, wake up. There's all these old fashioned songs. Anyhow, wake up little Susie, wake up. So I'm like, it's like spirits like wake up, wake up Aquarius, wake up. <laughs> 
everything has its gift, Aquarius. Everything. See, I'm making up my own song here. Honesty is essential, so speak with love and truth here. So a blessing here is really being able to have honesty, right? Maybe that maybe there was a sense of dishonesty because we do have the three of swords. Maybe we felt hurt and betrayed. Maybe it was just a misunderstanding. Who knows? You don't know until we can, you know, have this unveiling of some type of conversation. And I do see you putting yourself out there more and more. And also forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. <clears throat> so freedom, a second chance, a feeling of new life, a feeling of vibrancy, healing, letting bygones be bygones. What else? Get to know each other. Okay, there may be something here. Some of you Aquarius, you're, you could have an, a second go around here with someone. It is quite possible. Now, if that's something that you definitely do not want and you're choosing a different path, then continue to heal because, yes, you do have a new beginning here. But you may be hesitant because you may be, a, a, you may be afraid of some type of uh, pattern repeating itself. Uh, but don't be because I really see you being in the page energy. So like page of cups and like to me, this getting to know each other, I feel is like ace of cups or page of cups here. Learn to meet another's need for love. So there's something that has totally changed or it will change. We're coming from a whole different viewpoint, a whole other place because you actually have leveled up here. Okay. And God, Jesus, and your angels and ancestors will bring you situations and people that are at your level too. But there may be something too, uh, Aquarius, where, um, you know, maybe vice versa here. So take it if it's you or them or just stay open to, you know, <clears throat> I think where things can kind of go a little bit weird and south is when we just start knowing that, we figure someone out, right? Instead of continuously educating oneself here. So there is something about wisdom with you and another, <laughs> something that's very long lasting. Now, you know, if you are not someone who is resonating with being with someone or with another, there is a special relationship that you are having here with spirit too. So there's a lot going on with your path. There's a lot with you seeing beyond something here because, you know, you've got Archangel Raphael that is overseeing healing, uh, love in your life, recovery from a, a hurt or loss, <clears throat> receiving good news. Okay, so uh, Aquarius, trust me, you're going to receive some type of probably unexpected news, maybe unexpected or good news, unexpected income, uh, some type of financial gain. I feel some kind of good thing here that will help you take it, take things a little slow and easy, but also get going to do the things that you love. <clears throat> yeah, oh my God, I didn't even know that was there. I did not even know when I was saying that. But anyway, back to what you love. Reevaluate your, your desires. Don't be afraid to reevaluate your desires. That's a blessing. If something didn't work out, well, then maybe, you know, we weren't noticing something that we should have noticed, right? Or, you know, maybe something just ran its course and we have to let it be. But it doesn't matter because what matters is you getting back to doing what you love and having, <clears throat> you know, things come back to life and color here. I feel that you were in the Four of Cups for a while, actually. Four of Cups, Five of Cups, kind of feeling, I don't know, very distant from everything possibly here. Um, 
Yeah, a little time out, but don't take too much time out, right? Just be devoted and committed. But I feel that there's something that, you know, spirit wants you to keep moving towards here. Like you've, or you've hit some type of mark in your life and spirit is saying, be proud of yourself. You're only gaining more. You're gaining momentum here. So don't get too caught up on, you know, doing something and having to look at the results right away because that may make you feel like time is just going like this or, you know, slowing down or, you know, whatever it is. What else for Aquarius? You got to love yourself first. <laughs> Take time for yourself. Oh, my goodness. I told you, someone from your past is coming here. We do have a reconciliation. Now, whatever you want to do with it is up to you. There is no right or wrong, first off. <clears throat> when you can love yourself and be patient with, with yourself, and it's really easy to be more understanding or yielding and patient with others, right? Because there is something here about true love. I, I, I feel that there, there's some type of bond that may you know, definitely, yeah, because we've got that spiritual connection goes beyond, oh, it does go on beyond this lifetime. Okay, let's see what this is. Mm -hmm. Okay, new love, a new person has stirred your, your, your romantic feelings. There may have been someone that could have been and passed by here with this reconciliation, or there could be a past soul, uh, <clears throat> you know, pa uh, past soulmate here from a past lifetime coming back because we do have this new love. Let's get more to it. Okay, let's get more with this new love for, this is definitely Ace of Cups. I mean, you, you do have like Ace of Cups and I really see Six of Cups too. <coughs> Some of you are calling some past soulmate, but some of you are calling a, you're a strong soulmate in a new, like one that you, maybe you have seen them or met them uh, and you're, you may be starting to get to know them or you will soon. Let's get more with this new love for Aquarius, please. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Okay, this is going to be somebody here. <clears throat> oh, this card was falling out too. Powerful and often unexpected revelations and breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. A new love is going to transform your life. Oh my goodness. So we're going to have some type of, cr you know, crazy transformation. So yes, you need to take some time out to continue to love yourself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, I can also see a situation, you know, there's a situation here that's going on because like some of you Aquarius, you are going to have someone come from the past that you know, and <clears throat> I feel you're not going to give them the day or, the, or time. You're going to go for someone new. There, you may, oh my God, and I wouldn't even be surprised if you guys have, you know, someone from the past and someone from the future here. You got to go, you got to look beneath uh, the, the current situation or the surface of things because someone is returning from your life. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate action. Oh my goodness, and that, you got to follow your instincts when some type of great change happens here. So trust your instincts, stay focused because you do have a passionate relationship that's going to happen unexpectedly, unexpectedly. I feel like you guys are both like heavenly sent though. Look at you guys are up in, up in the heavens here. Oh, okay, what's well, this card? Oh my God, look, both of you guys are working. Both, <laughs> okay, devoted. Yeah, there's something strong about career too, <clears throat> but we do have this thing about devotion, learning all you can about a subject or career. Yeah, look at that. We got that uh, uh, card of study here. You might be inspired to go back to school. You may be inspired to just, you know, learn all that you can, but you are mastering something here, and we do have a situation 
Aquarius, where we have devotion, we have commitment. And that's all you need to do. Let's get more with this Eight of Pentacles. Some of you could have something, you know, take off in your career or your business or your, um, you know, maybe something that you're crafting here. Or you could, like, change directions and it really take off, too. I mean, something is requiring you to pay attention, though. There's the, oh, my God, there's the hangman. Okay, a temporary pause for reflection and insight, an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness. Oh my goodness, and I just see that. You know, you're, you're really doing something and you're becoming more and more skillful, okay? So you may need to gain a perspective about that, right? There may be some, just take it if it resonates for some of you, because for some, you may, you know, there may be something where you've had to take a pause too, because, you know, you may um, have had some type of situation where maybe passions became too much, became work or, you know, and so you're just trying to get back and m make space and just get back to just doing it because you love to do it, not that you have to, right? So... It's okay for you to take a little time, right? Spirit knows that you've had to endure great sadness, but you're getting great personal growth from it, and you're not alone. You know, look at Archangel Raphael is up there hanging out with you. Okay, what else for Aquarius? And this is a an indication of your rebirth as well. Speaking of that rebirth, that awakening, you know, is hearing that song and what I, uh, what was coming to me was like judgment because of the angel with the trumpet, right? And so it's like waking up. Yeah, the need to move on and seeking more from life than um, what you're experiencing, a spiritual quest and choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities. You could be leaving home or leaving an old situation, right? But the most important thing is that you're going towards something better. And it's okay. Let's get more with the Eight of Cups for Aquarius. <coughs> time. There's something about time. Enjoy success and happiness. Look at that. It's time for you to, en to enjoy your success and happiness. Leave the worries and the stresses behind. It's an old pattern. It's an old way. You don't need to worry. Okay, you even have eight and eight. And then I was even picking up eight of swords earlier too. So, you know, we're turning something into infinite. What else? enjoy growth and reap rewards hold on there's something funny with that card here you are page of swords see you're in a new place here your transformation is coming to completion Spirit wants you to sit pretty in a new place here, okay? There's no challenge that you can't handle and watch and wait. That's what the Three of Wands is doing and this is what the Page of Swords is doing. Pay attention and watch. Enjoy your growth and reap rewards. I mean, you've got your sword to cut down all of your beautiful ripe fruit because you did it and waited for the right time. An exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. So review all documents very, uh, very carefully. You know, this is also an indication where you could be <clears throat> reevaluating what worked and what didn't work. You know, take take the the knowledge and the tools that work for you, and then get rid of the rest, and then be willing to have, you know, a fresh new outlook, a fresh new way of getting information. 
and watch and wait because I do feel important information is going to be coming to you. And Spirit wants you to have patience here. I was picking up something about someone too here. Because there may be something, there could have been, uh, could, oh, I know what I was going to say about that page is, it's like, you know, some of you too have been doing a lot when it came to tending to your inner garden, your inner soul here, and you've been working hard at, you know, doing things to gravitate yourself towards, you know, the right connections, and that's exactly what you're bringing towards you. And there is someone that I feel is uh, a great counterpart, could be an air sign like you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm sensing too. Okay, let's see what else for you, Aquarius. <coughs> I feel like there's something about uh, some type of mistake here. I don't know if it's forgiveness on mistake or, you know, just uh, maybe that's that misunderstanding. Okay, doing what you love. I mean, three of pentacles, you're getting a lot of good cards when it comes to establishing something for your future. Recognition for the highest quality work. And you even have this thing about you know, attention to detail or something that you're doing or crafting or becoming is, be, you know, is becoming easier, more uh, effective, more skillful, and being paid well for your craft. This is where you're headed. This is what you're doing. Working well with others, an excellent reputation. So three of pentacles, you know, things are coming together. And I do see that this is, you know, this time period where you're in this place of having to pause because you're sculpting yourself here. You're sculpting something new. Notice uh, the statue even has that trumpet. I told you there's something about this, you know, calling. You have a gift. I mean, you truly have a gift. It's unique. Get to work. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Mistakes can turn into perfections, actually. Okay, what else? Because sometimes, you know, when you, you know, when you're doing art or something, something happens, and you're like, ooh, actually, I kind of like that. <laughs> you're like, huh. Yeah, so that's how it happens. Okay. That's how life happens. Light, when life gets messy, it's actually a good thing. <laughs> and that's what's happening here with that transformation. So, yes, in your case, when life gets messy, it's a beautiful thing. Spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. So it looks like you're going to be having time, you know, with yourself, uh, with a loved one here or loved ones. So make sure you are tending to and focusing, especially if you feel that you've been doing too much of work, work, work or tending to material needs too much, it might be time to just get back to doing what you love or, you know, getting back to um, connecting with relationships, um, you know, your animals, your friends, your family, neighbors, whatever, okay, whatever you got going on, uh, because you're going to be putting out there that you're ready, you know, that you're ready to spend some quality time, and I'm just seeing great intimacy, tender touch here, and true love. Yeah, practice has been making, oh, practice is perfect here. And look, you know, here you are like sculpting this statue here, which is you, and look what happens. There's like breeze life into you. Mm, this is, this is sweet. Okay, what else for Aquarius? Oh my God, I just heard mi amor. Oh my gosh, I'm like hearing Spanish. Mi amor. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, someone's like, that's how they, that you, you, you're you someone's beloved here. Oh my goodness. So if you don't have your soulmate, 
you, I mean, you have your soulmate in the spiritual realm. It's only a matter of time before they show up in the physical realm. And look at this. You got the star card, Aquarius. And guess what? That's associated with your zodiac sign. So I love it. You are the star of your own life. You are playing a different role in life, okay? Because here you are standing out of the crowd because we're not being crowded. That's what you got to know. You're not being bombarded and crowded by negativity, whether it's stemming from self or others. You're giving yourself space and freedom to dream. Have faith that the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times and the light at the end of the tunnel. You got a bright future. There is a, there's been a seed that was already planted when this crap went down. Do you know that? That seed was already planted when that crap went down. So the thing is, is the angels, God had your back here. Just watch and wait. What else? Ignite your passions. Figure out what your passions are. Maybe there is something here with fueling your passions. Let's get more with the ignite your passions for Aquarius. <laughs> retreat and recharge. You got to retreat and recharge. And maybe that is a passion of yours, you know. Some people really like that. And it's healthy and it's right and it's good. And sometimes that's what we need. Sometimes we've been so over, you know, over exhausted or too unbalanced in something that we just, we need a little time out to figure out our fire. So take a moment to re re retreat and recharge how you want to so you can relax. Yeah, this fire has never been out. That's the thing. You've always carried this fire within you, okay? <laughs> it's never been out. You're leading the way, and you're leading your way um, right. What else for Aquarius? Nope, that's it. Okay, so let's find out, Aquarius, uh, how spirit is currently helping you. releasing this is the death card uh and scorpio is associated with the death card but it is a release endings that lead to new beginnings yes absolutely the need to release situations or people that hold you back and not feeling bad because i i do feel um you know you some of you aquarius you did uh had to take the high road you let someone go and maybe it's been hard. Maybe you've questioned yourself about it or you let something go that was, you know, you just knew it was time. But anyhow, <clears throat> spirit is helping you with this spiritual transformation. And you even have, you know, divine intervention, the tower, the transformation here. All right. Your beautiful new beginning is ready for you. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's find out how, uh, wait, that's how spirit, I'm like trying to, I like decided to switch these two around, so hang on here, because I got into a routine, but, um, let, oh yeah, so that's how spirit's helping you, so let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future for Aquarius. And also, Aquarius, don't be afraid to, you know, do something a little different if you need to. It'll be good for you. What, is, uh, what does Aquarius have to look forward to in the near future? Keeping an open mind. That's that page of, um, that's that page of swords. That's you, keep, that's you keeping an open mind. Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and... 
you're going to be giving someone a chance. So it looks like what you have to look forward to in the near future is having an open mind, an open, uh, honest conversation here with someone, and giving a relationship a chance, working on your partnership. So that's a really good indication here. See, your future is bright. Never forget this. Know that you're always safe, okay? And you're always uh, loved and protected. And so are your dreams. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.